myself a new mill and I've decided to fit a proper DRO setup on it. Um, so I've ordered it directly from China. It's come from, I'm really pleased with it, it's uh, great value. Uh, it's got glass scales, but like a fool, I ordered the wrong length. Uh, in the Chinese description, uh, it had got a 350mm uh, length, and I thought that, oh, that was the length I wanted. That's the 350mm travel. So now I've got a glass scale that is too long. I really need to chop it off here, but from all accounts, playing with the glass scales is an impossible task. They can't be cut, and if I wanted to do that, I should have ordered a magnetic scale, and there we go. Sending it back and exchanging it's not a, not a viable option, so I've decided to give it a go, and we'll go through it and see if, uh, see if it is a an option to cut the glass scales and see how they come out. I'm planning to use a little Dremel tool with a, a diamond cutter on it. I'll try and damp any vibrations. These are tempered glass apparently, so they're uh, very prone to shattering. So I'll do what I can. Uh, if it works, it works great. If it doesn't, well then I'll have learned something that I hope you would have done too. So I'll take this apart and we'll see how we go. Well, it's got some little uh, cross-end screws in the end, so we take this off. And it looks like it's got some sort of uh, sealing stuff around it, obviously, to keep the uh, cooler fluid out, uh, silicon seal. scale so I know which way it's going to go back in. Now I've got a little craft knife standing blade here and I'm just going to try and ease it down beside the glass scale and cut through the through the silicon until I'm happy I've got it all out or cut through. I'm going to try and ease the glass scale out. Okay well I'm just going to try and clean off the Silicon the end of the scalpel. Okay, well, I've got the glass scale off and cleaned off some of the silicon. I know where I want to cut it. And now, what I'm going to do is lay it on this reasonably flat piece of board, clamp it under the bit of wood here so it's minimised vibration going to uh, wet it with water and try and cut it with a diamond disc on my little Dremel tool type thing. We'll see how it goes. Well, here we go. We'll give it a go.
so far so good. That came off really quite cleanly. Whether it needed to be soaked in water or uh, clamped down or anything else, it's anyone's guess. But uh, yeah, pleased with that. So I'm just going to run this off because I'll save this and I'll have a little play with this and see if I can cut it in other ways. That's a bit safe. Well, here's the shortened scale, and there's the bit we've cut off quite successfully by the look of it. And all we've got to do is try and get it all back together. Uh, cut the ex aluminium extruded housing down, and refit the end caps. So we'll see how we go with that. Okay, well the plan now is I've marked off uh, the length I've got to cut this. So I'm going to rough it off with a hacksaw, and then just dress up the ends with a miller and we'll put the end caps back on. Okay, we've uh, hacksawed it off there. Quite uh, quite a substantial extrude in there and quite tough to saw, so it didn't feel like ordinary aluminium to be honest. It was really quite quite tough. Uh, so, now dress it off at the end uh, and re-tap it for the end caps to go on with four little screws. cheap pieces on either side to support the, uh, the scale. And this is the lump I've cut off. I had to uh, re-tap and uh, drill those to fit the end caps. These are the little uh, dust covers. And this is a little bit of the glass scale. Now I've cut this several times now and I've had no problem at all chopping off in little bits and pieces. I tried to cut an angle straight Using a little diamond cutter, it's come off without any problem. It hasn't all shattered into lengths, uh, into small parts. So uh, I'm going to feel a bit more confident doing the next one because the next one is going to be the longer scale. So we'll just plug this in and see if it'll go okay. Chinese DRO setup. Uh, that looks to me as if that's going okay. Uh, Alright, so successful job. I think we're okay with that. thing is to, uh, to fit it and then we'll have another look. I'll do that to a, a part two video with the other scanner and fit it I think. <laughs> 